So there's this game called Space Flight Simulator, where you can basically build your own little rocket ship. And what's cool about it is that it's recently been open to modding, which of course KSP modders have found out about, and they have made a pile of mods. What did they mod? KSP. So you can get this today, and it is actually very cool because you can basically build uh, your own little KSP rocket here in Spaceflight Simulator and it gives you all the fun of KSP but in 2D and actually surprisingly with a lot less explosions. So I'm just building a little rocket here with the boosters that you can generally get. Oh, that's too small. There you go. That's a big enough booster. I want two of them. There we go. Now, while there are a lot of parts in here like the arrow cones, the spark engines, a selection of various boosters in here, uh, little tiny engines, and you know, like your standard KSP engines. Like I think everybody knows the swivel engine. That's all good in there. Uh, oh, it also has this guy here. Yeah, that's a pretty common. And to give you an idea, this is what it looks like in the KSP mod, um, which is the uh, RS25. And then if we go down to engines, regular engines, and if we go into uh, Spaceflight Simulator engines, this is what it looks like in Spaceflight Simulator. So very similar engine, um, however the specs and everything else are totally different. Like this has a thrust of 936 tons versus 232 tons, which is actually more semi-realistically scaled to uh, Spaceflight Simulator. So mixing and matching parts, probably not the wisest thing to do, but you can do it if you want. And then we're just gonna grab some whoops, arrow cones here, put them on top. Now, the one thing I didn't see in this pack yet is uh, separators. Um, it is still in beta. So one of the things I need to do is actually go and grab the separator from Spaceflight Simulator and then simply move it here and using this tool here, oops. That should do it. And there we go. So you can launch them in Spaceflight Simulator, and as you can see here, they both run pretty much the same. Now, Spaceflight Simulator is more of a simplistic 2D simulation versus KSP 3D, and it doesn't include all the features, but one thing it does miss out a lot on is it doesn't seem to have a Kraken. Um, at least not as much of a Kraken. I still have a lot of stuff randomly exploding in KSP that I still can't explain and apparently Kraken, I've been told, is the answer. Uh, but you see here, both games run very similar and and the nice part is that Spaceflight Simulator itself is only $15. So it's a much more affordable uh, game than KSP is and it's a nice little game to try out uh, while we're all waiting for Kerbal Space Program 2 to show up. At least it's early access. So looking forward to that coming up because it does look absolutely beautiful uh, when it finally does arrive. Although that apparently is not actual gameplay. So I'm not sure what it is. But that does look like Kerbal Space Program. But more nice looking.